Well, hello everyone and welcome to A Color With Donna and Dala Diva 99 Coloring World here together tonight for you guys. I have Nisi here with me and I appreciate her coming on so much to help me out with this live stream. I've been telling you guys about the tritones a little bit lately and I'll let you guys know that I broke my no buy and got the magic pencils and we were just going to talk to you guys a little bit about them and work a little in Secret Garden, show you how they work and all of that. So um, everybody give Nisi a huge welcome. Hello, Nisi. Nisi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> all Thank right. you, Donna, for inviting me. I appreciate it. Yeah. I, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. So it generally takes a little while for people to okay. all come in. I've got you as a moderator now too, by the way. Okay. So Nisi, right. tell us about Hey guys. You. Hey everybody. I am actually going to turn this screen over to Anisi for just a little while so she can um, tell us a little bit about these pencils. She actually turned me on to these probably about two years ago, I think, if I'm correct. She showed these over on her channel and I got super duper excited about it, went out and bought them and then got them and was like, yeah, what do I do with these? <laughs> so tell us a little bit about <laughs> your experience and how you use these pencils. All right. So... When I first got them also, I was kind of like, uh, this will be cool to play with. I got the 12 set and I was like, oh, this is this is nice. You know, they have different colors. So the 12 set only comes with the tiger and a few more it comes with a few greens and blues. So I got to use in the tiger one and I actually have a picture here. This is one of the first pictures that I colored with the 12 set. I was able to use the tiger one on the wicker and I use the tiger on the book end of the book here. And then I use the blues on the water and the greens on that. And I said, wait a minute, th these pencils are pretty cool. If it can make wicker wood look like that, then I might need to invest in the whole set. So my second picture I went, got the 24 set and it had the beloved earth tones in it. So this is the second picture that I ever colored with the tritones and something just told me to go in a diagonal direction with them and see what happens. When I did this page with those pencils, it was just love. I said, oh my goodness, this is the easy, because I started using my Prisma colors here and it was just such hard work. And then when I got the tritones out and started doing the wood here, I was like, oh, my goodness, this is so easy. So that was my experience with them. And from then on, it's just been anytime I want to do wood, wicker, a lot of leaves. These are the pencils to go to for quickness. So that's how that happened, Donna. Awesome. So have you found any... Um well, I guess we can talk about the leaves in the woods first, but before we end the stream today, I really want to talk about what we can do with all these other colors because I've got all these swatches out and everything. So, yeah, because, you know, I really want to use the rest of these, too. And what I've been doing, doing easy is those blues, the, the ones that are all blues and really light. I've been using those for snow, like summer sky. Mm hmm. And it's been doing really well for that. But of course, it's kind of like, well, what else can we use? Recently, I did a coloring chat where I went in and used like poppy for stockings and um, something else. Oh, and, I, and of course, I did all my greens in the different meadow and rainforest. And I thought it turned out really nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can definitely use the rest of them. Um, mainly, I use the earth tones for wood, trees. I use the tiger for any kind of lighter wood, um, the daffodil and the marigold and the desert yellow. Those, if you know, if you could show your swatches, Donna, whenever you're ready to show them, they they kind of don't have a lot of different variating pigments in them. So I just use those for just regular, you know, regular coloring. If I just want to just a yellow in a light bulb or something. But all of those that don't have, have like super duper variating colors, I don't use them like 
normally. I, I mean, I use them like a normal pencil. Then you have your greens. You use those for all kind of leaves. All those greens, you can use them for leaves. All those blues, you can use them for water. You can use them for, like you said, for a sky. If you want variations, you can use them for flowers. And the rest of them, I've been using a lot of them for flowers too. So that's kind of how you can just, you just play with them and see what you like. That, that dark one, the metal, right. I like, truly like to use that one for metal. You know, if you have something that you want to color, that's going to be super dark, just kind of, you know, put that in there a little bit. You got to be careful with it. Cause it's like super dark. Yeah. Right. That evening storm is nice too. What have you, what are you using that on? Because it's, it's a red and a black pretty much. Or the evening storm. Red, right. Actually, just no, maybe a red, a, a blue, and a gray. Yeah, and it makes that purpley, red, black looking color. It, when it mixes, you know, it makes a real funky kind of color. <laughs> so right. I kind of use it on maybe clothes or shoes or something that I want to be a dark color, but to have just a tiny speck of variating colors in it, you know. Oh, that's really a good idea. I think Spanish night is also gorgeous. I don't know exactly where I would use it, but it's a gorgeous color. But like you said, yeah. that might be really good for like velvet or anything that needs to have that velvet look. Yes. Hmm. Awesome. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, I got these magic pencils. And <laughs> let me tell you, but I'll tell you guys, the five packs I don't know if I'd waste my time with them because this is the five packs. You get the original, which is just a whole lot of colors mixed together. Tropical's not bad. I like the tropical, but then this neon, can you see this? It's not even worth it. It leaves grainy all on the paper. And then of course America. And I do like the fire, but that's like only two pencils, you know, but there is the swatches of the big fat magic pencils. And I was noticing that there are some that are this pretty close to the same as these. Like this one's called Dandelion Meadow, and it's basically the same as Meadow. But they're much larger and fatter, so the leads are probably going to last a lot longer. Oh, yeah. Hi, everybody. Sure. Yeah, so Nisi is going to talk us through working in this page in secret garden today and that way we can look and oh i am all ears she's going to coach us through this and tell us how she does these things and i'm looking for my earth tones because i know she's going to say pull it out and <laughs> i'm starting to covet this because look it's like it, it's this small and i'm freaking out <laughs> so it's like oh my goodness Oh, the poor little earth tones. I know. Those poor things. Let me see if I can zoom. Can I zoom my camera in? You can. You're just going to have to do I whatever. You do I have control of my camera? You have control of your camera, yes. Um, I actually I zoom that's working. on. Yeah, I zoom <laughs> mine. You can. Oh, mm. sorry guys. We, we didn't realize we did not. When I zoom it, it just zooms the whole picture. Oh no. Yeah, uh, she, she. Well, that's okay. Yeah, Nisi, it's, it's not letting Nisi, me zoom. Right, Nisi films on her phone, and we did not take that into account. Phones do not play well with the computer program for whatever reason. Yes. <laughs> they don't like it. Yes. I'm, I'm, I can I'll just lift it up. Yeah. I can just lift it up closer when I need to show you some details or something. Okay. But yes. All right, guys. So the, the key to the, pretty much, I feel the key to the Tritones period is a heavy hand. Now, when I did this video on my channel, uh, one of my subscribers mentioned, oh my goodness, I never thought about using, having to have a heavy hand using these Tritone pencils because she has a lighter hand and she colored her picture and she said her picture looked horrible. She was like, oh my goodness, this is horrible. And then she said, she watched that video um, that I did about the Tritones and she went back in with a heavy hand and she was like, oh my goodness, that 
that change. That's a game changer. So a heavy hand, guys, is what's required to get these tritones to behave in a way that will make your pictures do the most. All right. So what you would like to do is if you're going to do one area, what I would usually do for like this door, I would go in a diagonal direction on each plank opposite so that you can really see the, the different patterns and the door can look, you know, more realistic because wood doesn't ever really go in the same direction. But let's see here if I can. So you're saying do it this way and then this way. Yes, that's okay. it. So before you get started, you just want to kind of lay down a little bit of color at the edges where, you know, you're going to be you don't want to have to try to go out of the line. So just look, lay down a little bit of, of color, kind of, you know, light handed. You just need some color down there so that you won't be scared to go out of the lines. Now, is this the earth? Tone? Right? This is the earth tone you're using. This is, right? this is the earth tones. Yes. The earth tones pencil. And the earth tones only comes in the 24 set. Again, it doesn't come in the 12 set. The 12 set has the tiger. You can also use a tiger for wood. I will probably do the tiger on maybe another plank or something, but I definitely wanted to do the tiger on the wicker basket here because that's perfect for wicker and things like that. So we're using an earth tone. So just start at either corner, you know, maybe start at a corner and just go heavy handedly. And you can be kind of messy with this. You see what I'm doing? I'm going at a diagonal direction. And what, you see how it's a lot of brown in that it's, it's just too much brown. So you're going to rotate your pencil every time you see there's too much of one color. You're going to rotate that pencil so that you can get that another color. I usually like to rotate my pencil every few strokes. Hmm. Because I really like that yellow color that's in there. But Takes apparently that yellow color must be very deep down. It must be real deep down in my pencil or something because that yellow is just not coming up. But that's okay. Yes, that's perfect. And just try to make your strokes as long as possible. Long. Without overlapping. Okay, because I know, normally overlap them. themselves. Uh, okay. You don't have to and, and when you when you do those edges. Yes, ma'am. When you do those edges, go go in a little bit further. Go in a little bit further with those edges. That way you won't be tempted to, to try to be so neat to stay in the line because we're going to we're going to use the blender to, you know, to fix this and, and make it right. So just okay. give that those outer edges a little bit more color. The only reason you want something at the outer edge is so you can have some color there for the blender to pull from. So this and that way you can hurt. quickly. Yeah, you can quickly just go. Cause she's all the way down with it. Cause she's like, girl, you slow. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Look, I'm the slow one. So after you've done that, you're going to take your blender pencil and you're going to go in the same direction that you colored and kind of fill in all the little white areas that you might have missed. I don't have any white And remember, areas. you can always take, you don't have any white areas? No, because I'm heavy handed and I went slow. <laughs> I didn't listen. Oh, and you went slow. That's the key. You, you, Donna, you're so patient and slow. See, I'm impatient and I want quick, 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 fast, 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 hurry up, color, get on that page. And I'm a little messy too. I'm a very messy colorist. So you go in the same direction. Okay. 
See, I have never in liked the, the same way. direction. Sometimes when you're using that blender pencil, you can be very light with it. I can see that because it's taking too much stuff off. Yep. See, a lot of times I've been going almost in circular motions with these, and I've really liked the way that's looked, but I mean, this isn't bad. Well, when you go in a circular motion, you kind of take that, the grain, the, the you know, the diagonal, you make, right. you smooth everything out. Yeah. So you can, you can choose that. That'll, that'll, I've done that before. It's, it's pretty much personal preference. If you go in a circular motion or up and down, it'll take a little bit of that texture away and that's okay. It'll be more smooth, but it, you'll still have that same like color. Right. So once you're done with that one, whenever you're ready to go to the next one, we're going to go in the opposite direction. So don't really need. You're going to start at the corner. And you see how you're going in that opposite direction there. And just go all the way down with it while you're turning that pencil barrel. And guys, we're going to take your questions and comments and everything in a little bit because I know you guys are wanna, going to want to interact. But you know I can't multitask. <laughs> That's I can't why color I and that. talk really well. And that is why I generally have to have Deb with me. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Deb. I can like color, okay, and talk. What I cannot do and talk is manage my stream, like watch comments and things like that. That's why I used to never live stream. Yeah. And then Deb was like, I'll go in with you. And I'm like, oh, let's do it. Aww. Yeah, that is that is very difficult to do at the same time. I just can't go as fast as you can go. That's just crazy. I don't understand. I, well, I see no. you all the time and I'm like, good gracious, Nisi. Y'all talk about somebody <laughs> fast with pencils. If you guys are not subscribed to Nisi's channel, you need to go over there because that girl, she can lay down some pencil fast. Oh. And I think I'm Thank fast you. with pencils, too, in comparison, but I'm not that fast. <laughs> well, no, you have those markers covered. You're like a whiz with the markers. So I'm like, I have to learn from you. I'm, I'm, I need some lessons, some marker lessons. I'm going to do that starting in January. I'm going to do a Marker 101 uh, video series. Awesome. So. Can't wait. That's going to be awesome. All right, so you have those two planks done, and usually if the color is not saturated enough, you can go back over it in the same direction with the pencil. That's perfectly fine. And then you can get your black pencil, just any black colored pencil, and you know, crisp up your lines and make them look more defined. And that's pretty much that's pretty much it. That's wood right there. I can't. Find so you think two planks is enough, Donna, right? Sure. All right. Well, should we move on to like the tree maybe? Okay. With the same pencil. Okay. Pencil. So the tree branch, there's nothing to it. With the tree branch, all you're going to do is just color that like you would color it with a regular pencil. You're just going to turn your pencil as many times as you need to, to get variating colors on your bark so you're just gonna just be all messy and fast and guys it's just because there's no direction you really need to go in with the tree bark you're just gonna color like it's like it's 1999 with this tree wait where's my crayolas that's what i was using in 19 <laughs> Oh my goodness. 
I got those Crayolas. They're right beside me. Look at you, Donna, not, going all fast. What are you talking about? I'm not going <laughs> fast. I'm trying to keep up with you. <laughs> yes, you are. You No. <laughs> Your tree branch is almost done. Look at you. I'm trying to remember. Okay, so you only have this much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you printed yours. I'm like, okay, she's not going over the other direction. Are you doing even right. the <laughs> Are you right? Doing, you're coloring the knots too, right? Yes, just the whole thing. Just you know, rotate your pencil so you can get a different color. Just try not to go. The point of being heavy handed is getting that color down and not going over your color because that's when you're going to muddy up the colors. If you if you put a second coat on there, it right. might muddy them up a little bit. That's why you need to be heavy handed that first go round, you know, and be done with it. So what you can do is you can come in with another oil-based pencil because I think these tritones are oil-based. But I use my um, my poly color, my Koi Nor poly color. And if there's like an area that's too light or too dark, I'll come in with a dark brown or a black of the poly color and just fill that area in. And it just, it's perfect. Awesome. How much of this branch do you want? So me to Donna make? is serious about this tree, guys. She has went. I mean, we're done with the branch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm we're done. I think that's that pretty much self-explains. But you were like, you got like the whole tree colored, and I'm like, wait, no, where, where are you going? <laughs> but you see, it, it does. looks so good though, yes, because you have all of these variations of the brown throughout the branch. Yes, in nature, yes. that is what you see in nature. And it would take you yes. hours and hours to accomplish yes. pencils and probably what, four or five different pencils? There you go. Exactly. That's why I love them. I'm, I'm so in love with these. They're just, they've saved my coloring. Literally, they have saved me. So that's pretty much self-explanatory. That's that. Let's move over to these leaves, guys, because I'm I'm really excited about yep. and, using and Deb, the rest of our pencils. Deb, sweetie, make sure you're keeping a list of these questions for us in case we miss any when we go back through so and answer yes. everybody's questions. Okay, where are we yes, going to go? Leaves. Leaves? Perfect. 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 All right. So should we go with the leaves near? Yes. You know, the tree or however. So you have your swatches, Donna. Which which green? Because I use all three of the greens. Two of them are my favorite. One of them doesn't have a bunch of variating colors in it. And I think it's the, I don't know which. I think it's meadow, the rainforest. Meadow, it's like, it doesn't have enough. Right. Meadow is more of a green with like a chartreuse in it. That's this one. And then rainforest yes. has a deeper yes. yellow and a deeper blue. And then forest is more of just a green with a little bit of yellow in it. Those are the three I have right there. So whichever okay. one. Okay. Well, it's the forest one then. Okay. The forest is my least favorite because it doesn't variate a lot of, um, of the leaves, uh, of the colors of the leaves. So maybe we can start with the rainforest. Okay. I usually like to take both of these pencils since one is so dark and one is so light. I'll do one leaf or a few leaves with one color and do a few leaves with the other color. So maybe we can start so, with the rainforest. So meadow and rainforest, is that what and, you're saying? Yes. Okay. And just random leaves, people. Random leaves. Random leaves, guys. Just random leaves. And don't forget to turn your pencil barrel so that you can get those different colors. 
Yeah, that's, you know, that's what um, is really neat because, and it is pretty easy just to kind of turn it. I thought it would be really hard, but you can just, you know, if you're not the type that, because it, at first it was kind of hard for me too, but if you're the type that really doesn't, you know, no, you can't turn while you color. Once you start laying the color down, you're like, oh yeah, that's just too dark. Mm -hmm. You can just stop and turn the pencil too. But, you know, it was like, there Nancy you go. Said, if you go over the That's exact it. same area again, then what's going to happen is you're going to, like she said, you're going to muddy it up because then it's just mixing all the colors together. That's it. That's what the blender pencil is for. Um, sometimes you'll see a little white in an area or you might have not gotten all the way to the end of the, the line art and you say, oh man, I need to get, just use that blender pencil to try to push that color a little bit because you're heavy handed. So you have a lot of color on the page. So you can use that blender pencil to softly, you know, push that color where you want it. So I've migrated over to the meadow, the metal pencil, and you see my different colors. Put a few of those lighter meadow leaves in there. I've got my meadows there right here. And oh my goodness. Yeah. All yeah. right. So you got some rainforest and some meadow. And that other one, we can try the other one also, the forest, but it, it just... It's, well, it's okay. It's a I'm using it now. Green, but it's, I think it's more, it's all greens and there's no real yellow. Mm -hmm. So you get mostly, it's just all different tones of greens. Right. But I mean, I guess rainforest is too. So it's just a deeper one though. Yeah. Okay. I'm seeing it. See, I'm, I'm learning something new. I'm, I'm branching out and using using the poor little forest here. He's working pretty good. So that's the, those are the, those are the keys guys. Heavy hand, turn your pencil barrel. That's it. How are your leaves looking, Donna? I think they look really good. I think it's simple as pie, truly, you know, and it They took... look very good. Yeah, I mean, you know, the first time, it was two years ago, first time I saw you using these, and I think you were maybe, maybe you were doing leaves, or I don't, I don't know, it could have been the wood, and I was like, oh, I must have those, <laughs> and it was like, off to Amazon I go. Yes, and they, they have changed my coloring life. But it wasn't, do you know, I never used them after that until this, just in the past few months was when I finally picked mm -hmm. them up again and said, oh, okay, I want to use these. Well, that's why I kind of started, I'm starting the hashtag crash your stash. I'm getting ready to release a video um, of the second part of my pencil collection. And I just said, okay, I have so many art supplies in my stash, so many books that I haven't touched, so many art supplies that I don't use, that I either haven't used at all or I don't use enough. So I'm like, okay, in 2021, I am going to crash my stash. I'm going to get in there and use some stuff that I haven't used before or books that I haven't colored in. We're just going to make 2021 just colorific, okay? Yep. And I, I mean, I I'm will ready. definitely take part in that and share your hashtag and because I've got definitely have things that need to get used. Oh, right. me too. So much. So you wanted. To All right. So we ready to move on to the basket. Whenever you're ready, sweetie pie. You, Donna, you seem like you're enjoying your leaves and your wood. You're like, Nisi, you're, you're moving too fast. I want to do some more leaves. <laughs> I'm just so, I don't know. I think it's, I'm used to getting into a live stream, you know, and then it's like, I want to finish a picture. And I know that you've got that whole different thing. You skip around so much. And that's cool though, because I you're do. able to show a lot more. You have a, I'm talking about I do. 
Let me guess. On top of your OCD, you're just a <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Um, ADD. Call it ADD. Yep. <laughs> you're like I'm, my I'm a lot ADD. Attention deficit. Yeah. <laughs> Every. Yes, I am so ADD with my OCD. It's it's crazy. So I skip around in a page. If I'm not feeling finishing this door, I'm like, okay, that basket looks nice. Let me go ahead and do right. half of it. Like, I'm just moving along now. <laughs> moving along. All right, so you're doing that with Tiger, right? I do. I giggle when I watch your videos all the time. I'm like, there she goes again. Like what that last video you did, you were coloring in like what three different books. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, goodness, we have been everywhere today. All around the world. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. And I love the way that shoe turned out. So yeah. Oh my goodness. It's it's crazy. I'm I just love variations and the spice of life is variety, right? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> That is true. All right. So and if any of you guys decide before yes, the end that you want these pencils, there is links right down in the description of the video. All right, let's do this. Awesome. Yes, guys, please use Donna's links so that you can grab these pencils. If you have the 20, if you have the 12 set, try that 24 set. You will not be disappointed. She's gonna link that below. Go and get that 24 set so you can have these few pencils that you know. That you don't have in the 12 in the 12 so we're going to take the tiger pencil now you can actually use the the earth tones if you like but tiger is such a lighter color and you can let's see you can use a, a direction a particular direction in coloring the basket, if you'd like, I'm just kind of going diagonally, but I don't think it really matters in, in really, really small spaces that have lots and lots of uh, line art already. Oh, Donna, yours is looking amazing. Look at you, a tritone professional already. Well, thank you. I learned from the best. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So if you want to be extra special, guys, you can take each one of these little sections, each one of these blocks and go in a different direction. Or you can just be super, super quick like me and just just color it. However. Just color the whole thing in one direction or diagonally or up and down. But all you want to do is make sure you variate that barrel. Just turn that barrel so you can get those different colors. Oh, you are going fast. Good gracious. <laughs> yes, Girl, I'm this, that's not. <laughs> that's the coffee. That's the evening coffee. Cup of coffee. Oh, goodness gracious. And I really like this tiger too because of the fact that it has such a difference in, it's like a, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a dramatic difference between the two colors or the three colors. That's yes. In and don't forget, you can always take your orange pencil, just a regular colored pencil and add some more orange on top of that. The Prismacolor pencils don't play very well with these pencils, but I'm sure you can make them work. But um, the Fiber Castell or any oil-based pencil, I think will probably work better with mixing in, you know, with these pencils. So I have the Blick Studio. I have the Blick Studio pencils and I have the 24 of the Polycolor um, Koinor. And those are the two that I usually mix in with the tritones. So now I'm just Blick, taking the. Blick are wax based. 
Yes, isn't that funny? The the yeah, blink yeah. are wax based and the koi nor poly colors are oil based, but you know what? They color exactly the same. They feel the same when I color with them both. And they both say Czech Republic on the barrels and they both have the exact same names of which each makes, pencil. Which makes you go, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> and it's funny, okay, the Blix are a wax-based pencil and the Prismacolor are a wax-based pencil, but Prismas don't play well with these um, Koinor tritones. But the Blix, oh, they can go right on top of these and they just play so wonderfully. I'm adding a little bit of orange to areas that that I want a little bit more orange color to. Take your dark brown, put a little dark brown in areas that you might say, oh, that needs a little darker of a color. And that way you won't be like muddying up the colors with your tritone pencils. You can also add shadows like under the rim of the basket. You can put a little shadow there with your regular pencil. I think I was too heavy handed. Oh well. Oh, yeah, that's looking really good, Donna. I'm loving your picture already. I think I think I reached the end of the Internet, though. <laughs> I, it's not taking any more. See, I've got the same problem you have. I am so heavy handed. Oh, yes. I know the struggle. Oh, your basket looks great. Yeah, they look awesome. And see, you get something different every time because Nisi put a lot more orange into hers. Mm -hmm. Where I was kind of sticking, I would put some orange in in spots, but I was sticking more to like the brown and the um, the tan that's in there. So yeah, I mean, you can get a lot of different looks from one pencil. Looks great. It does. It really does. All right. So that's pretty much all I have with um, the polycolor. Oh, why do I keep calling these polycolor? <laughs> Tritone. <laughs> Tritone pencils. So what's next, Donna? Um, well, I mean, one thing that I just happened to discover the other day, and I mean, I was, I guess I could kind of do it here. Um, yeah, let me look at my... <laughs> little swatch that I made for myself today. <laughs> so I remember exactly what I'm looking at. Like Poppy, for example, you can go, if I cannot drop my pencil, that would be great. <laughs> what would be even better is I, I could find it there. <laughs> it, it like rolled up underneath the corner of my chair. Okay. I want to get a little bit of a sharper point on this. I'm sorry for shaking the camera, but it is what it is. Oh, that's another point that I wanted to mention also, Donna. You, you, you can have your sharp point, but remember the more dull these pencils are, the more color you're going to more get. More color. Uh, if the sharper color. it is, yeah, the sharper the point is. That's why I, I let it get down as far as I can before I sharpen it because for some reason, the variating colors are like deep in the lead. Right. See, like, that you've got these sense. apples here, and, like, with Poppy, what you can do, and this was kind of a new thing, it was just a color I learned to work with just the other day, you know, because if you look at an apple, they're not really bright red, generally. You know, they have different colors. Yeah. But, in my opinion, look how nice that looks just for, like, an apple in a tree. That's amazing. I got my poppy. That's beautiful. Okay, got poppy. So yeah. Oh, yeah. you're at the tree. Okay. It doesn't matter. And you can also other. do that for the green. Yeah, the green. You can make the green apples. You know, but then there'll be a lot of green yeah. in there with the leaves. But if you have yeah, like apples on a plate. Right. 
And I mean, this has got a red in it. So, you know, you can kind of get almost different color apples from your more of an orange red to a more true red. And I think they look really nice with Poppy. So I have, I, you know, that was a new pencil I found. So I was like, oh, look at this one. Now I know what to do with this one too. Yeah. Um, and like, it would be cool to make like a compilation in like your swatch sheet what to color with different pencils because you you mentioned the apples i i didn't really think about that but i would definitely use this poppy for you know apples or fruit and then i'll take another regular color pencil and add in my shadows and my dimension and it, i still will end up using one or two pencils versus three or four in a small area exactly exactly and, you know, I've been, like I said, I've been using those light blues um, for snow just because, you know, snow's not white. If you look at it, there's always that blue tint. So I've been going like right along the edges and just doing a really light mm -hmm. coat to bring that pop to the snow that you would get. And I mean, I just think there's, there's a lot of different things that can be done with these. And I, um, and I'm really digging <laughs> Like I told you guys, I actually did break my no buy and I went and got the, the magic pencils, which are like the tritones, but they're bigger, much bigger. They're big and fat. And I saw people. On Is that the only difference that they're yes. bigger? Well, there's some colors that don't. I don't know. Let me see. Um. Like in the magic, you have what's called a summer sun, Sahara sun, sunny beach, orange flower, where you've got daffodil, marigold. So there may be some differences, but I'm not really seeing it. It looks like daffodil and summer sun is probably the same. Um, mm -hmm. I don't see it Sahara sun. Well, yeah, I think desert yellow is Sahara sun. Sunny beach is probably marigold. So there are most of them that are very similar. Maybe... Yeah, I do. But there's, I don't think, look at this glowing ember. Is that tiger or is that, I don't think that's earth tones. That's going to be tiger, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that looks, well, no. I don't know. Look. It looks a little, looks a, diff, a little different. Yeah. Let me find this in here and hold them side by side and find out. Yeah. Because if there's enough differentiating colors, I am so getting those, Donna. You shame on you for enticing me. Don't say that. But I love you so much because <laughs> I know you do. Um because you make me buy it and I, I need it in my life. See, it's not the same, but I think it's tiger. Yeah. Well, well, you know, you probably are going to have a different color because the lead is so much bigger. It is. And, you know, on the reviews on Amazon, I kept seeing people say, well, what do you sharpen it with? What do you sharpen it with? And there was a whole bunch of people kind of arguing uh, over what to sharpen it with. The Dow 133 sharpens big fat pencils. Did anybody know that? This I hole, totally didn't. This hole is big enough. Um, I did get the little five pack. And the five pack of these are actually like, what do you call a stop sign? Hexagon. So they're actually like hexagonal where the magic pencils are triangle. So oh. actually fit in, I mean, perfect, like room to spare on that five count. The... Magic pencils, you do have to kind of push it a little bit. But look, I mean, I sharpened the white. What I would suggest is change your length shorter. Because see how I just wanted to keep sharpening and sharpening and sharpening and sharpening. And actually, it's not the white. It's the blender. But um, yeah, but mm -hmm. it worked. It, it did go up in there. And it just kind of scratched the paint a little bit. But who cares? No big deal. And it didn't like eat up the pencil or anything. Because as you see, it's still like there. It just really exposed that lid. So that's really cool. Um, and I don't know. I, th I think I'm going to try these, especially for like having them for larger areas or maybe just to hope the leads last longer because it's definitely got to have more pigment. It's got to, you know. Oh, definitely. So, yeah. So, I mean, that's really the only thing I really wanted to show everybody. And they do come in a really nice tin. 
Um, I don't remember. The 24 comes in a 10, doesn't it? Or does it not? I don't think so. I've only seen it in like maybe a little box or something. I don't know. Did yours come in a 10? I'm trying to think that they did. Like one that's about that. You mean the tritones or the magic yes, pencils? The tritones. Oh, yes. The, the, they both come in 10s. Yes. Right. And then the, this is also a hard 10 for the magic pencils. Oh, get, that is? 23. Yeah. If you get the 23.1, it's a hard metal 10. And I think and it's I'm a little actually, box for the little just, five count. Yeah, just a little box. And I don't, I won't, I don't know. I do like those two pencils in this. I think I like the tropical. I think I could do something with that, even though it does have that orange shining through in that green. But I do like that mm -hmm. fire a lot. There's that so much, if you can, maybe we, maybe we can collaborate and like your next video or something we can like, okay, let's figure out all the things we can do with our tritone pencils, because these pencils are so underrated. There's so much we can do with them, but we just don't know, you know? Yes. Let's do it. Well, I mean, that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll talk about that and try to come up with all the different things that we can color um, with these pencils. Cause I think they're great and I love them. I mean, I really do. All right. So questions, I'm going to go back to the yes. very beginning of this chat and see if we have any questions here. Um, I answered Tabby's question. She needed to go to the store. So she was like, is this going to be recorded? Uh, <laughs> That was awesome. And hello, everyone. I know that Nisi and I have been, this is a totally different live stream than I normally do. So hello, everybody. Um, I know I've seen somebody ask a question on price, but I was trying to go in order of questions. That may be the order I said the first question. I fail to believe nobody has any more questions than that, though. Um... Yep. What is the price? What's the first question? Um, let me tell you guys, these prices can be all over the place for these things. Today, I looked on Amazon and right now I believe the 24 count of Tritones is 30. Let me get you a good price because prices change like crazy. Um, right now they're $38.20. But I have honey on my computer, so it tells me about price jumps. There's been nine price changes on these pencils in the last um, 28 days. The lowest was 29 and some change, and the highest was 48. So that's something I think you just got to keep an eye on if you really are interested and you don't want to jump at the 38 price. Um, I would say it's something that needs to be wishlisted and check that wish list every day. And I'm telling you, sometimes Amazon will change their prices several times a day. Drives me crazy. And somebody wants you to do a video. I saw that too. Oh, using the Blick pencils. Miss Wells, I would love to see you film using the Blick pencils. They're so underrated. Yes. Oh, yes. They they are very underrated. I definitely need to pull those Blick pencils out more. And, you know, I just wish, well, I wish they came in a bigger set. You know, I have this problem with less than 100 pencils. I... I don't think 72 is enough colors, <laughs> but I think there are like these smaller sets of the Blicks, like the grays. There's a gray set because they do the same thing with the Koinor poly colors. There's 144 Koinor poly colors, but they come in those different sets, kind of like the Black Widows are doing and the Erogitans and all that stuff. So I will definitely 
definitely try to do a video using the Blicks because they are a beautiful pencil. I love the way that they color, but they definitely remind me of an oil pencil. All right, what else do we have, Donna? What else, we have any more questions? Um, you've colored bricks with these, correct? I know I have. Um, I can't remember exactly which one I used. I think I used tiger to color bricks, but it could have been that earth tone. Bricks. I, let me look at my, or I color. guess it might be more of a red. Cause see with me, I like brown bricks, but I know you, a lot, you may uh, brick, brick, brick. That might, well, I'll do a brick in all kind of colors, girl. I just, I'll do an orange brick, a red brick. <laughs> a green brick <laughs> but I have actually with bricks I, I don't know you might let me let me draw a couple of bricks and see what happens and see if Sun. I can color ember might do okay too Let's see. That's not my pencil. Which color? You've used it for bricks before, Donna? I don't remember which one I used, but I generally go more of like a brown brick. And I don't even remember what book it was in. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking, what book was that in? Mm. Let me see. Sunset. I'll try a tiger. Let's see what happens with, with this brick. I don't think I've ever tried coloring, but I have seen it colored. I've seen bricks colored, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, with these pencils. Mm. Oh, man, that somebody has come up with. Oh my goodness, someone has come up with something and I've learned something new. Oh, this tiger on this brick is amazing. I told just what I thought I may have used was tiger. I mean, there's, what is that? Ember. When you, when you said tiger, I said, oh yeah, tiger may work. And then you put a few lines or dots or something in there. Yeah, I think tiger That's might be a nice brick. Yep. I think Tiger might be the way to go with that. And Corey wanted you to know that Blick now has 91 colors. Oh, Corey, you lovely enabler. <laughs> she is on her way. Melissa, the... Um, the Magic Pencils are available in lots of different places. There's a link in the description over on Amazon. That's where I actually purchased mine. And they are $38.90 right now for the Magic Pencils. They're not super duper cheap pencils. But. So what would you say that the benefits over, if I could only afford one set, the, the 24 uh, tritones or the magic pencils, which set would you get if you could only get one? And either could be 24? Yes, both either 24. I would probably get the tritones. And that's Why? because I think you're going to be limited on the magic in the sense that, okay, let's see. Here is one of those, I mean, I'm just, going to grab a green. No, I'm going to use this lighter green because you can see how much variation there is in that color. And then we mm -hmm. go back in here to our leaves again. And I could be wrong. We're about to find out. But, you know, these are very small leaves in this book. So I think, yeah, it's, it's just hard to get into those really teeny tiny places without mm -hmm. keeping your lead super sharp. You know, it's going to be harder and it's going to be harder to turn and to get all the different colors in these much smaller areas. I mean, I bought them simply because I knew we were going to do this video. I'd kind of been looking at them and been curious. So it was kind of one of those. Well, if I'm going to break a no buy, I'm going to do it for my subscribers and for, you know, the folks that I knew you were going to bring over for the video because I thought they may be curious, too. Yes, I'm definitely curious. 
But um, I thought that that, you know, but it's like I said, if you're going to do a much larger area, like what I have been doing with snow and things like that, gosh, I'm probably never going to finish this page. This page is going to drive me crazy. You know that, right? <laughs> me batty is what this page is going to do. But like, <laughs> say, if, say this was my snow, if this is what I was doing, this could be the benefit that you've got a much larger because I am going very light when I'm doing the snow. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because all I want is that yes. illusion. So for larger areas, the magic is going to be so much better. Because I'm telling you, they're not, you know, like we said, they're not, or like I said, they're not super duper cheap pencils. And they're to be coveted. <laughs> I'm telling you. What it wasn't, Nisi, like eleven dollars yes. a pencil on Amazon for an earth tone. Yes. For one. That's crazy. Now, yes. Nisi can give you guys the hookup. She, somebody has found a way to get them cheaper through like some other sites and things like that. But yeah. <laughs> so you yes. don't want to waste them. Can you demo coloring a flower, please, Nisi? Definitely, definitely. Do we have any flowers on this picture or should we find a flower from somewhere? But I can, let me show you. No, it's not in this book. Oh, there's flowers up at the tip top, Let's sweetie. See. Up here. Oh, yeah. yes, thank you. <laughs> All right, which color should we use? I have used, you can pretty much use any any of these colors for a flower. I've even used the dark, dark twilight one. But um, let's see. We already tried poppy. Poppy would be an amazing one for a flower. Let's try the violets one. Where is that? I think that would do very, very well. Yeah. All right. So let's try violets. And just remember, you want to. And sometimes I do use circles. So I did one circle. I turned my pencil. It's too much of that violet coming through. I want some of that pink. Finally, some pink came through. So I'm going to keep that pencil right there. And that's that one leaf with that violet. Oh, my goodness. That is beautiful. So this time I'm doing, you know, you can variate your strokes. You can turn that pencil. And if it doesn't look quite right to you, remember, you can always go back over it with a plain color pencil. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of tiger in the middle. Okay, so that's the flower. Donna's flower is looking amazing. And I love my pencils. Like, my lead is super, super dull with the earth tones. The more dull my lead is, the more variations. I get with my colors. So I try I to stay away from doing tiny. Yeah. Tiny, tiny areas. Time. I don't really do much of those with the earth, with the tritones. Yeah. When you have that lead really sharp, it's going to stay pretty much one color for quite a while. Yeah. yeah I'm like struggling to get pink in here, <laughs> but. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Yep. That's what happens when you have that sharp lid. Nisi said, remember that next time. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to take this Blick pencil. I have quite a bit of pink in here, but I'm just going to take this pink, hot pink, pink, can't speak hot pink Blick pencil and just kind of go in there with a little bit more of that pink. 
And the point of these pencils aren't just they're they're a supplement. They aren't really necessarily a pencil that you're going to complete a whole picture with. They're not exactly. a pencil that you're going to possibly even complete one item with. They're to speed up the process of coloring so that we can color more of our coloring books, color more pages. Right. It just, it's a good, just a go-to when you would just want to, you know, just like she said, just on certain things when you're like, oh, well, this would work great um, on this, you know, like the leaves and things like that, that we had shown you. That's where it really comes in handy. I just had an epiphany. We're going to see. <laughs> yes, please share. So there's my pink and purple flower. I'm loving it. Oh, yeah. Get those pumpkins going, girl. What color are you using? Volcano. Volcano. Well, I'm going to use citrus. I thought I'll let about you do that. volcano. We're just trying stuff now, boy. This is this is what you call impromptu. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice there. How's your volcano coming? It's okay. I mean, it's it's not terrible. I just need to learn how to play with these pencils more. You're just much better at it than I am, like with the moving them around, oh. and the variation of the color, and <laughs> that citrus. Oh my goodness, the citrus. Try citrus on one of your other pumpkins if you if you have a chance. Find my citrus. I'm gonna try this volcano on this one. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I think on that one, the goal is going to be to keep that blue or whatever it is out of it. But there's like a bluish color mixed in that. Yeah. But yeah, citrus is really good. I like citrus for this a lot. Mm -hmm. Volcano is very different. I, I would definitely use volcano on like the pumpkin or an apple or something. But you definitely are going to have to come in with another regular colored pencil and kind of smooth it out and, you know, add a little bit of color that it's lacking. And yeah, Barb, I guess you could think that it goes slower, but if you're wanting the variation of color, like in your wood, if you were just to take one single brown, and color a piece of wood, you're going to have a flat color where if you use one of the tritones, you're going to get like this variation in all these colors. And it just looks like more realistic because I'm going to be honest, if I were to try to, I mean, I don't know that I could accomplish this with multiple pencils. And even if I tried, I think it would take a long time to do it. And yeah, yes, I, 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 thought about Donna said um, that there's a challenge for us, color a whole picture with tritones. And I'm like, yeah, I've actually been Ooh. thinking about that as a challenge. I wouldn't even try it. I'm just, I, I just know I wouldn't be able to do it because I'm so ADD. And I'll be, I'll be just itching to use something else just because I can't. I think you did pretty good when you did your little what was it your tiny tin challenge last year or year before? Oh, that killed me. I bet it did. But you know, you're the reason that I bought my first 12 polychromos too. <laughs> I was like, well, I have wanted to try the polychromo, so I'll have to get the 12 for the tiny tin challenge. <laughs> yes. And, and you know, the reason why I did that tiny tin challenge was because I had so many 12 sets because, you know, everyone says, hey, just get the smallest set so you can try out these pencils. And right. I, I, I wanted to try out every pencil there was. So I have all these tiny sets and. 
right. Now, Miss Wells wanted to know about those Crayolas. I heard, I didn't I hear you say that you did not like them as much as Tritones when you tried them. Yes. Or have you changed your opinion? Yes. <sighs> I, 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 I mainly got the Crayolas when I couldn't find that Earth Tones color. And I was hoping that this Grizzly Bear color was going to be that color. It looks like so, tiger. Yeah, it's more like it's more like the tiger. Yeah. So they're a little bit more scratchier than the Koinor Tritones because of course they're Crayola and they're not Koinor artist grade so called pencil. So it's got the a Koinor a little bit harder lead which I'm assuming won't go down as fast as the, the tritones. The tritones are very oily. Uh, they're, they're like an oily wax kind of, but these Crayolas, they're, they're pure D wax. You, you know, they don't, the, the color saturation is just not there as much, but they're, they're a very nice starter set. I mean, I think I got this set for maybe like $14 for the 12 set. Yeah, I looked which today, is about the, the same they're 17, price. Yeah, they're 17.88 right now on Amazon. Yeah. We need to need another price so of can... everything on Amazon, right? <laughs> yep. You're the Amazon queen and our water pencils are sold out again, Nisi. Hope you got a backup to your backup. Oh, yes, I got my backup, girl. I am so grateful to you for hipping me on to those pencils. Oh my goodness. I am in love with those. They are just, they're the best. Oh, does now I'm using. Say, somebody had asked about the colors in the Tritones and the Magic. Are they different by name? Yes. <laughs> Nisi, do you care if I make myself big for just a second? No, please go ahead. Oh, that's not going to work. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so by name, yes, they're all different. Completely different sets. Um, however, however, look at this daffodil compared to the sun, summer sun. And if you look at Matty Gold compared to Sunny Beach. And Flame compared to Orange Flower. Um, poppy and pomegranate or actually no, probably poppy and poppy. Some of them are so close and it's like glowing ember. I'm telling you that glowing ember looks like earth tones so much. Me see it's somewhere between, it's somewhere between glow or earth tones and tiger. So it does have some repeats, but it does have a few that looks like they may be kind of unique. Um, Maybe. So I think it would be about size, what you wanted by size. But I tell you, I don't like this neon at all. In that five pack that I showed you guys, you know, I'm nothing if I'm not honest. And it just, see all these dots? It left that. I mean, just doing, I'll show you. I mean, it's, it's terrible. I don't like it at all. And someone else had mentioned this on the review and I kind of regret getting these, but I wanted to be able to show you guys all the different tritone colors that were available. But like, watch this. This is terrible. You see that? And then when you go to brush it away, it doesn't, all that stays in it. It's all grainy. So I don't know what's up with that neon. I don't like it at all. Which ones did you buy, Ollie? Okay, you're back in there, Nisi, Nisi. Oh, oh, the watercolor pencils is what you guys are talking about. They're awesome. They are awesome. They are amazing quality. I mean, I have the Albrecht Dürer. I have so many different watercolor pencil sets. And these are by far one of the best. One of the best in quality. Yep. I looked today and it was like 
sold out. We don't know if we're getting them back. And I'm like, oh. But they went out of stock once before. And then they came right back in stock. And that's when they came back with that $5 off coupon. So mm. if anybody's still on the wall about those, watch them like a hawk on Amazon. Because if they pop back in stock, they may have a coupon on them. All right. So any other questions for myself or for Nisi? I know it takes a minute for people to type. Nisi's like, girl, I'm coloring. Girl. I just wanted to like um, what Barb mentioned that, that it goes more slowly. This has sped up my it has cut my coloring time in half because like like Donna said, there is no way I would have been able to use four or five pencils and get this color variation so fast. And, you know, it's so they. It, it, it takes, I guess you, it's a learned skill. You have to learn them just like you have to learn certain pencils like polychromos or learn how to use your prismas. I guess it, it takes, you know, practice to learn how to use them faster, maybe. Well, you're very welcome, Nicole. She was thanking us both and said she's very grateful. Ollie says she loves us both and we love you too. I know I love you. I'm sure Nisi does also. Love you too. Yeah. I do. <laughs> Thanks yeah. all of thank you all to all of you for coming over. For sure. And for any of you guys that are not subscribers over on Nisi's channel, she is Dollar Diva 99 Coloring Worlds. And her link is in the description of this video. Please go subscribe because I'm telling you, Nisi has turned me on to some hacks <laughs> that I may have not thought of. Um, she's turned me on to some great products. Now, granted, until recently, I kind of thought, huh, I wish I hadn't listened to her about them tritones. But now that I've pulled <laughs> them out and started using them, I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And then it was like a couple of you said, you know, I have them and I don't know how to use them. And I was like, oh, I need to talk her to her and see if she'll come on the channel with me. And it's been fun. I've enjoyed it. Thank you, Nisi, so much for coming. Thank you for inviting me. This has been amazing, guys. And there are going to be so many more hacks that I have discovered in recent weeks that I'm going to have coming to the channel. So thanks, Donna, for inviting me and letting me come over and take over your, your tritone world <laughs> for a minute. Yes, ma'am. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for coming. It's a little over an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and um, sign off for now. But I will see you again soon. Go over and show Nisi some love. And we will see you guys shortly. Peace, love, happy coloring to everybody. Bye, guys. Bye.